Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome back. To take a few minutes to talk with you about uh, Skyrim VR, my first impressions, what I, and what I plan to do with the series for the channel. Uh, I really liked Skyrim VR. I thought it was great. I'm having a fun time. I changed the uh, control scheme to sort of mimic how you would sort of control the game in real life if you uh, actually wanted to use the controls uh, to not use that point and click motion but instead wanted to point forward, press a button, and move forward. And then I found out I actually have one of the controllers with me now so that I can show you. When I press uh, this button, like the action button, I can move forward, but I can also move in the direction of, of whatever direction I'm tilting the controller. So if I move this way, I'll strafe this way. If I move this way, I'll strafe that way. If I tilt back, I'll start walking backwards away from the enemy which gives me the ability to actually like um, kite the enemy and strafe and move around in, re in real time uh, and the reason I think that's so important is because unless I cut it from the video I did do a lot of talking in episode 2 about how most people in the VR genre don't necessarily like the whole point and click to move mechanic Although it works in Fate and other top-down games, it doesn't really seem to translate very well into the VR spectrum. So I changed the control scheme so that the actual movement type is realistic and instantaneous instead of like that teleportation. It's just like Skyrim. Um, but basically you walk from one place to another, you turn left, you turn right, you can side strafe back, left, right. It'll give me so much more, uh, so much more dynamic movement, and I really think that'll make the series super interesting for people to watch. Because um, uh, if I could set this, I, I guess I'll keep holding it. But when I was holding the bow, you're, I hope I can actually get it in the camera. Because you actually you press this trigger and you pull back on one of the motion controllers for the string of the bow, and then you release the trigger and the bow shoots. And that felt really good. It felt great. In episode one, I got all giddy when I hit this one, like, uh, it was a, I, I mean, I guess you would call it like a target that was hanging on the roof. It was actually like a, a body that you, you know, you chop down or whatever. It is terrible. But the cool part about it is, in the original Skyrim, you know, I kind of thought, you know, toyed around with the idea of going to the uh, Fighters Guild, which they're not technically the Fighters Guild anymore, they're the Band of Brothers or whatever it is. Uh, companions, okay, nobody shout at me, it was the Companions. But when I used to play the original game back on the PS3, which it's still the original game, but when I used to play the, you know, non-VR version on the PS3, I'd go to the Companions every now and again, and uh, I hope to God this thing is recording audio. Oh, it better be recording audio, I swear to God. Okay, sorry about that. Had to pause the recording because I thought it wasn't recording audio. I thought I was just rambling on for nothing, and that was very upsetting. But apparently it is recording audio, so we're just fine. I wish I could get an audio reading graph, but apparently I can't. Anyway, every now and again I used to go over to the uh, companions uh, area, and I'd train, you know, I'd shoot the bow and practice on the targets, you know, to see, you know, how close I... It's basically actual archery. You know, you have your archery target, you go back and you fire at the archery target. And even in the non-VR uh, edition of Skyrim, that was, you know, kind of interesting, kind of fun to do in first person. But now in VR, I've tried it, and it's really awesome. Because you can actually get really good with your actual targeting. And they have hit dummies there that I'm going to use to um, practice my sword and axe swings against and my shield blocking. So. I wanted to get people excited for the series because I intend to play it all the way through and beat the storyline. I actually beat all three of the storylines. Uh, unfortunately, with the difficulty in recording, it's going to be something that I might only be able to do once a week instead of, you know, once every day or once every other day. Um, if there's anything else that I could actually say about Skyrim, is that I want to get people excited for the series because I intend to play it as realistically as possible. I'm trying to work out a method by which I can stand up and play it by using a like a doormat under my feet so that I can reorient myself so that I know just like with a DDR mat whenever I'm stepping out of the frame I, I have an idea in my head for what this is going to look like in the future when I get very good at recording it and get very good at using the controls 
because I intend to get real. Uh, you know, I intend to get really realistic. I, I want to stand up and play. I want to use, you know, full motion while I'm swinging with the axes and blocking with the shield, and throwing fireball spells and 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 you know pulling back the arrow to shoot my arrow at my opponents. You know, I want to make this as a realistic a, an experience as possible. But. I don't know, aside from that, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it answered any questions that you might have about me playing Skyrim VR. I hope someday in the future that um, Skyrim VR becomes one of my more popular series. I really have always loved the Elder Scrolls games ever since uh, Oblivion. Um, I tried going back to Morrowind. I, I kind of missed out on that game when it first came out because I didn't know Elder Scrolls was a thing back then, so I can't really call myself a diehard fan but I've really been in love with the series ever since I first discovered it and that just happened to be Oblivion. And I love how I said I was going to cut this video short but it just keeps getting longer and longer and longer. So hopefully this answered any questions that you have about Skyrim and about how VR and about how I'm going to play it and um, hopefully you enjoy the series. And if you have any helpful suggestions that you would like to add let me know in the comments section below and until next time <laughs> take it easy my friends.